Hello, I'm Howard Bowen of the Harwald Company, and this is Miss Hatfield of the Broward County Board of Public Instruction, and she is the coordinator of instructional materials here. Uh, we are here to show you the Bocatron system and take you through the processing of the forms so that you can learn something about it. I'd like to mention a few things about this system. The reason we developed it was to fill a pressing need for a system of this type. This need evolved because there was a problem due to the population growth and due to the increasing use of audiovisual materials. Also, there was a need for more control in the film library itself and there's a need for utilization data which you can gain by processing the material after the films have come back from the users. Ms. Hatfield, I'd like to ask you why you went into a system like this. Well, as we know, our school system has grown a great deal in the last 10 years. And we've had this film library for nearly 20 years now. We've graduated from one kind of a booking system to another. For the last few years, we've been using a Cardex system. But when we discovered that during the 1967-68 school year, we were booking between three and 4,000 films a month, making a total of over 36,000 for the year, we realized that our horse and buggy system of booking would no longer be efficient. So we started about a year ago looking for a system that we could go into that would be a more efficient system for handling the film bookings that come in from our nearly 5,000 teachers in this county. So we have uh, gone along and asked for you to develop the system for us and now it's here and it's in operation and we're very anxious to teach our, show our teachers how to use it so that it will work efficiently this year. We'd like now to take you through a booking of a film so that each teacher will know exactly how this works and will be able to cooperate with us in the efficient operation of the system. We will be using multiple copied order forms, which we refer to as zip sets. These are four copies together with carbon between them. There are two soft copies and two hard copies. These forms are made up here at the Materials Center, custom for each school. That is, the school number and school name will be imprinted before it goes to the school. A group of these forms were sent to every school, and each teacher can receive them from their media specialist in the individual school. Now we're going to show you how this blank zip set is made up before it is sent to your school. Now you see that the school number is punched on the left-hand side of the card and the school name is imprinted at the bottom of the card. This is the way the zip sets look when they go to the school. The teacher would select the film that he'd like to use from the card file, which is in each individual school media center. Then he would obtain the zip set from the media specialist who can assist the teacher in filling out the form. From the card, he finds the number of the film, giving the Dewey number and the code number, which follows that Dewey number. The title of the film indicates the date he would like to use it and puts his name.
He then gives the completed form to the media specialist who will remove the pink copy and the carbon and keep the pink copy for her record. The rest of the form intact is placed in a pony envelope and sent to the material center. The teacher sends the zip set in, in the pony, in the envelope, and these are brought in each day to us. As these bookings come in during the day, then the ones are picked out, they are booked for each teacher. As you can see, as she punched the code number on the machine, the random access file delivered the correct card for that particular title. Now the card is marked for the date that the teacher requested the film, if those dates are available. If not, an alternate date is selected. The zip set is then placed in the Bookatron. and the booking card from the random access file is placed in the, in the key punch and the machine is then set for program and started. The film is now booked. The booking has now been completed. And you can see that the film is booked and confirmed as requested, being marked in the box for con confirmation and the date being punched out on the calendar at the right. Now the top copy, which is the blue copy, will be removed and return to the teacher as a confirmation. If this film could not have been booked on the date requested, then the second box would have been checked and the dates would be indicated on the same calendar so that a teacher can know when to expect the film. The two remaining copies of the booking form are then sent to the film shipping department where they are sorted in an electronic sorter by date to be shipped. These are then used to pull the film from the rack Films are sent in shipping cases along with the film in the case will be placed an evaluation form. These should be filled out by the teacher after using the film and returned with the film when it is sent back to the material center. The yellow copy of the booking form is used as a shipping label. The date due back is placed on this form so that the teacher will know when the form, when the debt film is due back in the library. The shipping label has all of the same information on it that the confirmation that went back to the school. These shipping cases are then sent to the mail room where they are delivered daily to each school in the county. The yellow shipping label should remain on the film case and not be disturbed at the school so that the order can be identified when it is returned to the film library. The fourth copy of the zip set, which remains 
in the center is then filed by date due back so that when the film is returned it can be checked in. This copy with all the information on it is then used for compiling data through the IBM computer on film usage both by schools and by individual film title. When the film is returned to the material center, the card is found in the file and matched up with the one on the shipping case. Inside the shipping case with the film, we find the film evaluation card, which the teacher has marked after using the film. The information on this film evaluation card is most important, since this will help us to determine when a film is outdated, when it needs to be replaced, what level it's used, how many times it has been used, and how many students have seen it. After the sh shipment is completed and the film is returned, the white copy of the booking form is then filed. This is used for compiling data at a later time.